How many times have you needed to convert your measurements and not be able to remember the exact conversions? Not everyone knows that there are 8 pints in a gallon or 5,280 feet in a mile or 16 ounces in a pound. Sure, if you can't remember these, you can just look them up on your phone, but why should you have to bother? The way our country measures things is outdated. We need to switch to a more, a less outdated, like better version, which is the metric system. The metric system is a base 10 form of measurements, which is the easiest way to convert numbers. I'm going to try to persuade you that, to understanding that the metric system is a lot better of a system for our country to use. My main points are that our system now is confusing and unpractical. Second, it is the language of science and medicine. Finally, there are many mistakes that occur just because of the old system we have now, and it would help to have a new, better one. First off, the system we use now is simply unpractical and it's confusing, especially teaching to our children. There are so many different conversions that you have to remember in order to use our current system. The metric system is simple because all you have to do to convert the numbers is move the decimal place left or right. This simple calculation can be done by anyone and requires very little knowledge of converting aside from the units. Teaching our, our children the old system messes with their heads. They are learning some metric and some old standard measurements, which can be confusing for them to learn. Also, the United States is one of the only three countries that uses this old uh, English system. The long list of countries goes United States, Liberia, and Burma. Now that I've talked about how much more practical this system is, I'll talk about how the metric system is the language of science and medicine. The metric system is, bas is what basically all scientists use in their calculations and experiments. It is so commonly used, uh, is so commonly used as their system of measurements that it is called the language of science. If we begin to use this system in America, it would start our children off with the system that they're uh, most familiar with, providing us with better scientists who can compete on higher levels than countries all across the world. The metric system is also the language of medicine. If America switched to the metric system, it would improve our process of healthcare and medicine. We may even be able to produce better doctors who can make more advancements in medicine. The metric system is an all-around better system of measurement that could improve our country for the better. Now that I'll talk about how the metric system is the language of science and medicine, I'll move on to how the mistakes occur due to the old system of measurements. There have been many mistakes made because of our old system of measurements. For example, the loss of the 1999 orbiter. CNN says NASA lost a $125 million Mars orbiter because of the Lockheed Martin engineering team use English units of measurement while the agency's team use the more conventional units of that are metric. This could, be, this could have been completely avoided, but we have to be different than everyone else. Every, everyday pharmacies mess up on our, pharmacy, on our medicines due to the poor English system we use. This would not happen if we use the metric system. So I've discussed my three main points that are, it is confusing to teach the children uh, this old, outdated system and it's better to use the metric. Second, it is a language of science and medicine and we are just straddling the fence on it, especially in our schools. And finally, there are countless mistakes and uh, misconversions made every day. Sure, we will have to change our football fields from 100 yards to 91 meters. And maybe we might have to change the phrase, you give an inch and they take a mile to, you give a millimeter and they take a kilometer. But change from our old system to the new one will help in so many ways like I've described above. I encourage you to push this system because it will help to better America. Thank you.